Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello and good morning to everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. Um, I'm so excited that you have joined me um, in this video here. And today is all about what's on our whip caddies. <laughs> I'm going to include a clip of everyone else's um, whip caddies that they have sent into my Facebook group page. So if you have a whip caddy and you haven't been featured yet, please post it in my Facebook group page. The link will be below. And um, so I can showcase your wonderful caddy as well. So here we go. Okay, here we have Julie Speck and it looks like she is working on a bow and hers is nice and neat. And just look at this that she made to go on the side of her caddy. Oh my gosh, don't you all just love that? And here we have Elizabeth Moore. It looks like she's working on some blankets and I see some Orbit gum sticking out of the top of her caddy up there. And here we have Donna Moe. It looks like she has all kinds of stuff going on and I bet she's making some doll clothes. And here we have Susan Breeze. It looks like she's got a pretty Afghan going there. Look at those beautiful colors and she even has a book down there to read. And here we have Angela McNary. It looks like hers is really piled up. Now she has two views going here. Don't you just love the little bear sitting on the top? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I have tons of fun with that. And uh, so just grab you some coffee, grab you some tea, and let's just see what um, I have going on. Now I do have quite a few projects because I'm one of those kind of people that I get bored with the same one. And so I like to have several things going so that I can switch back and forth. And I know that it takes me longer to finish something because of that. But I mean, I just get bored on the same thing and I like switching up. So um, I'm going to, I guess, first of all, show some um, happy mail. I've got this wonderful card from Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. And um, this is so sweet. It is my first Valentine card. It said, Valentine's Day is that special time when thoughts of those we care about come to mind. Thank you so much, Sylvia. This is so sweet. Um, I really appreciate that. And I love what you wrote on the inside. So it's Sylvia and family. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. And the other thing is, um, if you're in my Facebook group page, you know that I was working on a project or had just started a project and my mail ran. My husband brought in the mail and I had this bright green envelope and see, I literally, Brenda, I literally tore into it. Look at this. And little did I know, there was actually a note on the inside. <laughs> I almost ripped up that and I would never have seen that little uh, note on the inside of, but I was so excited because I was using this size of hook that I had ordered and I was wanting I was wishing I had that hook so bad and I was on row one and my hook came in that I'd ordered but she always puts them in these cute little packages this is Brenda the newbie crocheter and um, I'm really excited about it so the one that came in this time is an eye hook there we go. I love these hooks. Now, she, I do have one and I could not find it, so I'm not sure where I put it. But she does make them where this right here is a little bit lower, if that's the way you like. So she has two styles. One, he, one that goes up a little higher. She said she did that for me because that's what I requested. And so now she offers people this kind and the other kind. Brenda, you are so sweet. Um, so I now have three of these hooks and I am so proud of them. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Aren't they just gorgeous? And she puts on there, that's an I, an H, and a J. And I have a yellow one coming. I've requested a yellow one and it's going to be the G hook. <laughs> so I'm excited to get that. And her husband makes these uh, subscribe signs. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I can't look it in my camera. I don't really see. I was going to put it on this cabinet that's to my right, 
but the camera it's some reason the way I have my camera is not in view so I'm going to have to switch around to get it to show up my subscribe sign but I'm really excited about that he he makes them they're made of wood and uh, I think there's a small and a large and so I've ordered a small so and it's already shipped <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'll leave Brenda's email below and um, in case you want to order you some of these nice custom hooks. Look at that. I just love these. These are my go-to hooks. I told her I'm going to order one in every size, <laughs> but, but I, you know, I have to order them like once a month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't just order them all at once. The other thing is there's a group of us podcasters and you're going to start seeing the videos uh, that had bought this crochet calendar and someone said they can get them off get get them at bed bath and beyond maybe for four dollars and fifty cents i think i paid almost 15 for mine i thought i paid 10 but i went back and looked and um i think they were 14.99 but they're this crochet magazine i mean a calendar and you get there's all these patterns right here and then when you go to the very back there's a pocket and it's full of colorful patterns and so we are going so it's going to that have this calendar and if you have this calendar and want to join in go ahead um we're going to make whatever it is that month well i'm going to attempt some of these look like they may be a little bit too much for me <laughs> but there's january and this is the one i'm working on right now february so that is a whip and let's see oh here it is um so i can show that to you now um see if i can do this without showing the instructions there it is there's the pattern and the yarn that i chose for that is these three colors right here and this one is a Premier Home Cotton. This one is Crafter Secret. And this one is a Re-Up. <laughs> I've got three of three different brands going here. <laughs> and uh, let's see, the other thing on my whip is this is if you're doing the crochet along with me, I have my February towel holder ready to put the top on it. And I was going to show this to you guys. I did not show this in my crochet along video. And I just like, oh my gosh, I forgot to show that. I have a tutorial if you would like, rather make something like this. You don't have to use a ring. You can use a ponytail holder and uh, work around the ponytail holder. Anything like that. And uh, you, I have this tutorial so you can make this if you prefer not to make the topper. But... And it's just like that. And you cro actually crochet the button. And I, I'll leave the link below for this one. And I don't know why I forgot to show this in that video. I think I was just so excited that I was doing my first crochet along. Um, oh, and then thank you guys, everyone, for participating in that. I have been working on the slideshow of everyone that's been turning in their submissions of their towel toppers. And it sounds to me like everyone is having a great time with this. So... That excites me even more that you guys are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying it. And I'm having so much fun putting this slideshow together to show off all your uh, makes for the year. And then, of course, the other thing is the slipper. So that's a, a work in progress. This is for February. And there is no, well, the only deadline is, I guess, would be the last day of February. <laughs> so that's going. Okay, so I did my calendar. Here, I had bought this kit. This is in my caddy. It's this kit right here. And I have finished this part of it. So, and I think I was supposed to put his head parallel with that, but I didn't. I put it parallel like this. Straight out. Yeah, there we go. I did it like that. So, I don't know, but it is just for a kid. I don't think they were going to really care. Nobody else is going to care. They're just going to drag it around. But, um, and then his arms look like I might have put them a little bit too far back because they seem to rest back there instead of up here. 
But like I said, it's going to be drug around everywhere. I don't think anyone's going to care, especially if they're sipping it, right? <laughs> um, so here's the pattern. I ordered this from Hershner's. Here we go. And um, this is where I'm at so far for the matching blanket. I've just, right here. And I am going to do a little quick tutorial on how to do, how to start a granny square rectangle for you guys. Because um, some people may not know. And um, I know there's a lot of tutorials out there, but I'm going to get one out there too. Because I think that's something that people need to know. That you don't always have to do the square. You can do the rectangle. So anyway, that's where I'm at on that. And I'm just taking my time on this. It is one of those things that I'm not in any hurry for. So I'm just going cool with it. <laughs> um, let's see. The other thing is what I was working on. And this is my Mary Maxim little bag. I bought this last year, a couple of them. Is I am working on this kit. that, And here's all my yarn inside of it. It is just some beautiful yarns. Um, this, now you can buy this pattern off her site. Um, it is T, let's see, TL Yarn Crafts. This is Tony. This is her pattern. I bought the, two of these last year. It's the Dyna Cardi. And so this is what I was working on when I had that hook. And I'm not very far. <laughs> um, I think I'm on row three now. <laughs> I was on row one when I got the hook. Now I'm on row three. So I'm, I'm not very far. But um, the yarn, let's see. This yarn is Mary Maxim. And it says dark gray. It is 70% acrylic, 30% nylon, and 174 yards made in Turkey. And it's a three light washing instructions on the inside of the label. So this pattern, like I said, you can, if you don't want to buy the kit and you want to use your own yarn, you can go to uh, Tony's website, tlyarncrafts.com, uh, and you can actually buy just the pattern if you want. Um... But the other color in this, if you like it, is, um, what color do they say this is? Taupe. So that's the taupe. And then the cream, it's probably cream. Oh, it's called cotton. So taupe, cotton, and dark gray. Those are the three colors in this. And I'll tell you how much yarn it cause for um just in case four balls of the dark gray five or six depending on your size of the cotton and four or five of the taupe to make that cardi so that's where i'm at on that yep row three <laughs> and they come, I already took the pattern out, but it comes like in a box, a bag like this with the pattern on the inside. And obviously I took the pattern out. So there we go. That's for that. I'm so excited about that one. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, this is a one of my patterns. This is Shaw and a Ball Charlotte. So I will leave the link below for the tutorial for this if you like it. As you know, I'm working on this probably take me half a year <laughs> to make it because I'm in no hurry on this one either. I am just taking my time. And let's see. This is the Farmhouse Granny Afghan. And it does come like with this little pillow to match. And here are, what is in here? Oh, that's another one that I was gonna go, get to go with it. But here's my colors inside here. I just put them in this big basket that I got from Walmart last year. And um, these two colors didn't fit, so they're just sitting on top. But I had uh, bought this pattern 
And I thought I might make this to go with it. You can't see the colors, but it's the same exact colors. And it says home on it. I bought this off of Etsy last year as well. It's little dually, do, do lally. It's D-O-O-L-A-L-L-Y. And it says www.etsy.com slash shop slash little D-O-O-L-A-L-L-Y. She does have a Facebook, or this person, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, has a Facebook page, and then they also have a website. But um, I thought about maybe making this home to go with this pillow, I mean, go with this blanket. So I stuck it in here just in case I decided to. I bought this last year. I bought a chicken pattern pillow and a rooster pattern pillow, and I bought this home pattern pillow all at one time from her website. Now, I did make the chicken pillow, and I sent that off to Nona Grace. Hey, Nona. And uh, she's enjoying it. I see it in the background of her videos all the time. In fact, she made me this right here. Look at that. This basket is right there. That basket is made from plastic. <laughs> plastic bags. Okay, so I will show you my progress on my granny afghan. This is one of the sides or part of one of the sides. I'm so excited about this project. And it's funny because here lately, I have been doing so many granny motifs. Is that the right word? Um, here lately, and I've never cared for them. I've only did them, I think I did it last year because I had to in some kind of crochet along, the granny square crochet along type thing. And I did it for that, but I went the entire year not making another one. And now it's like all of a sudden, all my projects are this granny stitch. <laughs> But here's where I'm at so far. That's it right there. And then this right here, it's going to go down all four sides of this that I have. And um, then I will trim it again or have another edging like I did here. And uh, so that's where I'm at on that. I'm really super excited about that. It is so pretty. And I am having so much fun just taking my time. When I'm working on one of these projects, then I just, I see that in the bucket. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a few more squares for that. And uh, it is, it's really a lot of fun. And it is challenging me because of coordinating colors. I know the pattern shows colors on it, but not in all of them. You can't see the whole blanket, in other words. So I'm having to guess, like, where to place certain colors. Okay, so my other project that I'm working on is from TL Yarns as well. And I did pay for her pattern off of her blog. And it is, and I, this is from, I saw this from Debbie, the Canadian crotchter. Hi, Debbie. Um, it inspired me when I saw hers. And I was like, I've got to make that. So I went to her blog. And I bought the pattern. And here is where I'm at on this. I have my first triangle done. Here we go. Yay! So that's the first one. And I have it in my Mary Maxim. There we go. My Mary Maxim bag as well. And there's my colors. So I'm hoping I have enough of this brand of white. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I saw... Where is this? Craft Smart, never enough. So I hope I have enough. If not, I'm, I'm going to have to go shopping. Okay, no, it looks like I have another one over there. <laughs> so I should be okay. But most of this yarn in here is, um, that's Craft Smart, Big Twist in the Pink, Big Twist in the Lime Green, Big Twist in the Gold, and uh, I think big, no, mainstay in the purple. So that's all my different brands that I have. And I have my other three triangles started. I went ahead and made my first to see if this was something I even wanted to do. And so now I'm doing all three at the same time. So when I finish two color, uh, two rows, then I go pick up the other one, do two rows. That way I have that same color already pulled and working with and not switching colors so much. Um, and so there's that one. But that's where I'm at on these right now, my other three. So, anyway, this is a lot of fun. Thank you, Debbie, for uh, bringing this to our attention of this. I would not have known about this. And this is going to be a gift. And um, so I'm excited about that. It's going to be 
my first Afghan type uh, thing to make and actually give as a gift. So I'm excited about that. Um, okay, let me get a drink real quick. This is just black coffee. I have been talking forever. The last thing I want to show you guys is uh, the tutorial I have go coming up also is for a dishcloth. Now, I made this as my sample and I washed it and I feel like it's a little small. So I'm going to make do this again bigger. And here are the three colors. It's going to be a springtime washcloth since spring is coming up. But these are the three colors that I'm using for this. And this one here, this is from yarnnet.com, by the way. Um, I'll leave her link below to her website. And this is called Lamia Mercerized Cotton 100%. I can't, let's see, the thing I think is being 100% cotton. There we go. I can see it now. 100% cotton, 147 yards. It's a three light. But yeah, so I'm going to make uh, some of these kitchen dish cloths, some of these springtime kitchen dish cloths. And uh, this is washed up. And I think this is the perfect material to wash dishes with. My goodness, I'm going to have to make a bunch of these um, just for my house here. And, um, and if I get around to it, then I'll make some as gifts. <laughs> but I need some for myself right now. Um, anyway, so that's... That's all that I have going. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'm sorry that it is so long. Uh, I see that I haven't even showed that stuff off yet, but um, I'll show that off in another video as well. So here's our 365 days of prayer. Let's see where we're at on this. It says, your will be done. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's Matthew 6:10. God, your will be done. How many times have I said this? Have I considered really what am I praying for? I suspect I don't really want it deep down. My will be done sounds pretty good to be honest. I ask for what I want, then add almost as an afterthought, but only if you will it. Father, all the while my heart silently begs that you do, Lord. I want to pray it and mean it. I want a heart that is so in tune with yours, I can't even begin to want something out of our will. Confidently, expectantly, I want to say, your will be done, because I know with all I am that this will bring me joy. Can you confidently ask God for his will to be done? All right, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, all the things that I have going, like I said, I get bored if I'm on the same project. I like having several. I know every, some people can only do one thing at a time, and I'm just one of those people that like to have several things going, so... Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.